while people are joining. And how's everyone doing? It's been a while since I streamed. I was hoping to stream last week after I came back from MCM, but I was very sick. I could hardly talk, let alone think about streaming, so I'm glad I'm back. Let's carry on the adventure. Uh, I presume it was the last one. <laughs> it's pretty strange that I've got two that are both on 35 balloons. And I do not remember what I was trying to do here. Your choice. So I've done all the challenges. Bye bye for now. I'm just going to have to go back and revisit the levels and see which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. Oh, and I just remembered I'm supposed to be recording this, so... Okay, good, we're recording. So, uh, how do I find out what I need to do? Let's get a plane, because then we can go everywhere at least. Hello, friend. Select your V. Abracadabra. Alright, let's try that. It feels so good to finally have some time to just sit down and play something. I've been so busy recently. Where's the waterfall land? Here. I'm pretty sure we haven't done these ones. <clears throat> As there's no one here just yet, I'm actually going to go back and look at the last uh, gameplay video. And see if I can figure out where I was up to. Because I want to carry on from the place where I left off. So let's see where that was. Okay, looks like we'd just beaten the octopus boss in the water area. And I remember really struggling on that boss as well. I was trying it for hours. So let's go back to the water area then, and see whether there was anything else I needed to do in that section. Oh, that board won't tell me actually, let's see. Okay, we've got two trophies. So I'm guessing that means everything in here is done. And then... What's left after that? There's the snow area, and one other one. <clears throat> Can't remember which other one. Yeah, we've got all the different balloons in this section. And, yeah, we've done that. Have we got the key? To go in here. No, we haven't. Shall we try and find the key? Let's try and find the key. I think... I think it's somewhere on the pirate ship. Let's try with a hovercraft. There's more chance of looking around then. Hey, I got some new followers since the last stream. Um, Vilnd Winter, thank you. Uh, Swiss Tony, 1973, thank you. I'm not worried about winning this race. Uh, Life of a Handheld, thank you for the follow. Semi Colin, 2020 Pizza, and Tiny Luli. It sounds like I just made all them up, but they are in fact real people, so thank you so much. It's pretty amazing that people follow even when I'm not streaming. It's just so cool. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And now, let's go and explore. See if we can find any secret keys anywhere. And enjoy the music as we're looking around. How's everyone's weeks been since I was streaming last? It's been two weeks, I think. I've been very busy. We were at MCM in London 
I was helping out my girlfriend with her art table as always. And it did really well. Really well this year. So she was very happy. And I bought a few games. So I was very happy. Um, and then we both came home and we both got sick. Unfortunately. So there's one downside to going to these big events. Uh, maybe the key isn't here. I can't see it anywhere. What else have I been doing? I've been working really hard on a few history videos. Uh, Wonder Swan Part 2 is almost finished. Damn it, I want to check up there. And yesterday was basically the first day that I was feeling up to recording again, and I recorded the uh, second part of my Game Boy Advance history video, which I'm very excited to get out there into the open. I've been working on that one for a long time. <clears throat> I am kind of sad though, because although I'm doing videos that I want to make, they don't really seem to be doing that well views-wise. Which is kind of sad. Because I put so much time and effort into making these really interesting videos and no one watches them. And then I just throw together a top 10 or top 15 and they get like 100,000 views. YouTube's so unfair. Or more like, I can't expect everyone to have the same interests that I do, I guess. So I can't really complain. People like what they like, not what I like. And I have to find that balance. And it is difficult. So maybe next month, after I've got out a few more videos that I want to do, I might try and do a few more ones that I know will be popular, just to make sure the channel doesn't die, basically. It is a worry. YouTube's just going to forget all about me one day. And I do have to think about the business side of it, if I want to take it somewhat professionally, anyway. It has to be a balancing act. And I don't think I'm in the right level for the key. Let's return to the lobby. I couldn't find anything there anyway. <clears throat> but it's not like I haven't got ideas for things that I think will be popular. I've got a load of different ideas planned. Um, I'm going to do a top Mega Drive games video soon. Because I know that's uh, something I haven't done yet, surprisingly. I'm sorry if this stream is a little bit boring, I might end up cheating and just googling where the keys are. But I'll try and find them on my own first. Because I do want 100% this. Officially. But I have no recollection as to the location of these keys. Whatsoever. The levels aren't that big, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. There's probably just like a tiny little gap behind one of the walls or something. No, that's just a dead end. Worth checking though. If anyone's watching who has a better memory of uh, Diddy Kong Racing than I do, do you know where any of the hidden keys are? I'm going to have a once around in each of the stages, and if I don't find it in any of them, then I will resort to game FAQs, just like I would have back in the 90s. But it's fun to explore as well. It's nice to just drive around on the track without needing to worry about coming in first or anything too. Although, when you spin the camera around like that, it's very apparent just how bad the frame rate actually is. Hey, do you have a key? Oh, I can go straight through him. Are you going to give me a key? No. Okay. I'm guessing there's no key on this area. So it must be in one of these two. Let's go to Pirate Lagoon. Oh yeah, how's the audio? Does the game sound okay when I stop talking? Well, when the intro's done. Hopefully I've adjusted it so that when I start talking, the game audio actually fades out, and then when I start again... Uh, or the other way around, when I stop talking, the audio fades out. It did mean I had to swap over to OBS instead of Streamlabs, which I probably should have done a long time ago anyway. Okay, anywhere? Not even in this big area? 
I really thought there'd be one there. I can't remember what I was watching, but there was some stream or someone's video where they had the audio going in and out like this, and I thought it'd be a really good idea to try and do it for myself, so hopefully it worked okay. I'll have to watch it back after and find out. Hmm. No key anywhere. Is it behind here, maybe? Back there? No. I don't know where else to look. I've also been still trying to upgrade my setup, so I actually got a bunch more cables earlier. I got a big, long USB cable so I don't have to go under the desk to uh, plug in the hard drive, which is capturing footage for this. I also got another HDMI splitter, so that I can have all the consoles now hooked up to uh, just one big HDMI block, which is a lot nicer, because I won't have to keep changing the cables around whenever I decide to play or stream a different system in the future. And I also got another splitter so that I can actually split the signal before it gets to the two capture cards. And hopefully it doesn't degrade the signal quality at all. But basically, that means that I can stream on the Windows PC and capture the footage on my Mac at the same time, which might be better. Or if I ever wanted to record just from the Mac on a different system, then I can do that as well now, so... Hopefully I've got all bases covered now. <coughs> And I got another, I got another um, plug socket extension thing as well. Uh, hey, Stadium Arts, hello. Yes, this is a PAL version. I've never actually played the NTSC version, so I don't really know what what the difference is. Is it much worse, like um, in terms of frame rate? And hey, if you know where any of the keys are on these water levels. Please tell me, because I'm going round in circles. I always just figured that Rare's games were optimised. Is it in the ship? No, I'm not allowed in the ship. Okay. I might end up having to Google it if I can't find them anywhere. Is it in here anywhere? I've never really explored in here. Why are they so well hidden? I managed to find the other one okay. It is slower. I did actually get the Japanese version the other day. So maybe I can do a little bit of a comparison. Right, I'm googling it. Uh, I've looked through all the levels and I can't find it anywhere. Diddy Kong racing key locations. Secret keys. For some reason, someone wrote a uh, guide for this game in 2007. And they spelt Sherbet Island wrong. They spelt it Sherbet. Okay, it's on Crescent Island. Not treasure caves. It's on this one. Um, after the beginning of the race, you will go through a tunnel at the beginning of the race. At the beginning of the race, you will go through at the beginning of the race. You will go through the tunnel, you have to turn left. After you have turned left, you will see a lake. In the lake, you will see the key. Okay, let's see whether he was telling the truth. No, I haven't seen the Japanese advert for it. I'll, I'll give that a watch in a bit. So, it said, after a tunnel, go through the tunnel, and you'll see a lake. <clears throat> the lake, and then turn left. It's in there! Oh my god! That was really well hidden. Uh. Oh my god, I should have took the hovercraft. Yay, we got it. I can't remember whether you actually need to finish the race or not to get the key. I presume you do, so... If you'll let me back on land, I'll finish the race. There we go, I'm back on. Let's see whether we can actually catch anyone up after that. Hopefully it's not like the uh, silver coins where you need to finish in first. If you missed it last time, I've got all the silver coins on the first two worlds now. 
And we've got two worlds left to go. And then we can jump into the uh, lighthouse and fly off into space, which was always my favourite part of this game. Oh my god, and I'm struggling with the controls. Hey, I don't care whether they can spell, they told me what I needed to know, that's the main thing. I'm very curious to try the NTSC version though and see how much smoother it is. I'm not going to catch anyone up, am I? Oh yeah, now, some, now that some people have joined, how's the audio? I spent a bit of time tweaking the audio to try and get it so that when I talk, the game fades out a bit. So hopefully that's working. I didn't have a chance to actually test it in a live environment anyway. So fingers crossed it sounds okay. And that means you can enjoy David Wise's incredible compositions even more. While I'm not talking. I'm just using this as an excuse to get used to the controls again. As it has been a few weeks since I played it last. There we go. I've mastered the controls again already. Yeah, it does fade. Excellent. It took me a long time to figure that out. Uh, right, hopefully we can return to the lobby. Yay, and it did give me the key. Now, let's see what's behind here. These are all the weird multiplayer games, if I remember right. Darkwater Beach. Darkwater Beach. The last player remaining will win. Okay, it's like a battle arena. I have no recollection of this as a kid, but I must have done it. Obviously, aim for the homing missiles. This area seems nicer than the one in the ice zone. I hate that one, with the three different levels. The map actually makes sense on this one, because it's all flat. Come on, is no one going to attempt to hit me? I saw Diddy Kong there, he was my nemesis in the last one of these multiplayer uh, modes. Where are you? Ah! He heard me. Get back here. Oh yeah, I think in these multiplay. Whoa, did we both hit each other at the same time then? I've got to find Tip Top. He's still got eight bananas. There he is. Someone else must have got him too. Let's see if anything happens. No, it doesn't. Where is he? There he is! It's weird, there's different colours on the map, but they don't really mean the uh, characters that you would associate with the colours. Or maybe I just can't see the colours very well on the CRT. Oh yeah, that was something else I've figured out, and that's why I'm facing the other side of the room, because I'm actually playing this on the CRT now, using SCART, and... The um, stream is going through HDMI using one of them SCART to HDMI adapters. So, nothing fancy, just one of the basic adapters. Oh no. I need to focus now, I've only got two... Two bananas left. Diddy Kong's out of the competition! I think I got someone. I wasn't looking. Yes, there's only Banjo left! Oh no, there he is! Ah! Uh, ah, oh, no. Almost. Wait, there's co-op story mode? I didn't know about that. 
No way. Why would Rare hide such a thing behind a code? How does that work? Is it like the multiplayer game, but you can also go around in the overworld? Or is it just the uh, levels that are multiplayer? Either way, that's really cool, and I would have loved that. Why would they hide that? Wow, okay, that was a good start. Sorry, Tip Top, he's almost out of the competition already. He's over there somewhere. I don't know if I actually hit anyone then. Ah! Oh my god, I hate the homing missiles. There's no way of dodging them. Where are you, Banjo? Someone's at the top. The resolution's too low. I don't know who it is. Take that, someone. I think that was Banjo. Poor Tip Top got wiped out instantly. Okay, I deserved that. I feel like it's just luck as to whether you actually get anywhere on this mode or not. As soon as you see someone, they're just going to fire something directly at you. I have to be careful now, I've only got two balloons left. Balloons. Two, uh... Bananas. I'm too used to Mario Kart. I'm actually scared now. I don't think there's any way I'm going to win this. Unless maybe I stay up here and be really careful. Is he coming up from behind? Where is he? I feel like we're chasing each other's tails. No, I missed. Let's get out into the open. Uh, let's see what the chat has to say. I'm missing some of the chat here. Stadium Arts has to go to work. No worries, thanks for dropping by anyway. Hope you have a good day. I just finished work. The co-op story mode lets you run races with your friend, but in the overworld it's just one player. That's cool. That would still be really fun. Ah, oh, that would have been great if I knew about that back in the day. Imagine coming home from school, sitting down with friends and playing through the uh, story mode in this together. That would have been so cool. Yay, I did it! First place! Now we can get the TT amulet for that section. Hey, I got a new follow as well. Um, high ranking P two minutes ago. Thank you. You won first prize. And Stadium Arts followed me. I'm sorry I missed that. I haven't got a proper screen in front of me here to actually see what's going on on Twitch. So hopefully you haven't left for work already, but thank you. There we go. We got three pieces of the amulet now. Only one more to find. Where do we go after this? Greenwood Village, I think. Is that the name of the place? I might check. Um, pretty sure I did everything in the Sherbet area. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. I think I did everything in here. Yeah, let's see what TT has to say. I'm not going to bother doing any of the time trials, although as a kid I liked, I liked doing them. We've got one more whiz pig thing to do.
that's the, uh, oh man, I'm trying to think what you have to do on this. The, um, Whizpig thing's the trophy race, I think. Does that mean I haven't done a trophy race? Um, are you? Oh, I wish I hadn't left this so long. I've spent, like, the first hour of this stream just... Right, okay. I've got that one. I've spent, like, the first hour of this stream just trying to figure out what I was doing. I've got that one. And I've got the first one. That must mean I haven't got the one for the water area that we were just in. So let's go back down here. Let's go and check out the trophy cabinet. And a nice crash landing into the door there. So I think it's through here. Hopefully there's an empty case. Yay! Okay, we're back on track. I know what we need to do now. I'm just going to turn the sound up on my screen a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Let's go, Whale Bay. So what we have to do now is basically like a just a Grand Prix where you play all four of the levels back to back. And try and finish in first, of course. Although the um, the AI is actually a lot more difficult on this mode compared to the first time you do the le the levels. Ah, I missed that turbo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm doing so badly, I'm already on the second lap. I might end up just having to restart this whole race. Whee! I forgot what that one did. It pulls you towards the, uh, the other player. Hey, someone boosted into me, that actually helped. Thank you. Let's see whether I can save some blue balloons and get another one. Damn it, there was one on the other side there. Is he going to lift up? I was leaving it a bit late then. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Okay, well, we're in first anyway. We managed to claw back there. Uh, Parasocial69 said, Just the other day I was revisiting Red Dead Redemption 1 and learned that it also has very elaborate cheat codes. You can find them hidden across the open world, uh, scrawled on walls, on in-game newspapers, they activate things like arming every normally safe NPC with weapons and significantly multiplying the number of bird animals for an invasion. That's really weird, especially the fact that they're actually just in the game themselves. That's pretty fun though. I miss when games just had fun for no re real reason. Alright, Pirate Lagoon. Go! Try and stock up on blue balloons again. Oh, I didn't think I would get that speed boost. So much for stocking up on balloons. Let's start again. Again, amazing music. Damn it, I missed two then. Super Turbo! We're miles ahead now. Yeah, I love the graphics on this game. It's so colourful. I love all the little touches. Like all the little things that are swimming around. All the different environments. It's just so fun. The lens flare when you're going past the sun there. 
the way it all fits together with the music and stuff is so nice. <laughs> and considering this was one of Rare's first ever 3D games, they did a really good job right out of the gate. Like, apart from the low resolution, the graphics still look really nice, I think. <laughs> okay, Banjo sounds a bit weird. This was Banjo's debut, by the way. Ah. Okay. I won't let you get past me, Banjo! Get back here. I'm gonna try and take the shortcut. Ah, there he is. Oh no, I missed! He's bashing into me. Whoa, someone just missed me as well. There's a little secret there when you're going over one of these speed boosters. If you let go of the accelerator, you actually go slightly faster than normal. And it does actually tell me that in the game, I forgot. Um, until I played this for the last stream and found out that Taj does actually tell you. So, a lot of people think it's like some hidden secret, but it's actually not. It's actually just part of the game, which is pretty cool. So you can see, you can see if you did it right, because you get the rainbow smoke at the end. Yay. I thought I'd forgotten how to control this, but I seem to be doing okay. Apart from that corner there, I always end up overste oversteering. Yay, finish! Yeah, I do wonder what the culture was like in the 90s at Rare. I think they just worked really hard. Like, every time I hear a story about the development of Rare, they're always like, we spent 10 hour days in these red hot sheds in the middle of the countryside, just focused on making the best games possible. So I think they just worked really hard and they were just really uh, passionate about what they were working on. I think that's all it comes down to. I mean, not to say they're not passionate today, but obviously the uh, the quantity of the games has massively dropped. I mean, Rare's only made like one new game in the past eight years or something at this point. Which is insane. And Everwild keeps getting cancelled and restarted, <laughs> apparently. Maybe it's not going so well. But obviously, a lot of people left Rare over the years that... I don't know, well they moved on to Platonic, but Platonic doesn't really seem to be doing much either. I mean, obviously game dev takes longer than it used to, but I don't think people would complain if they did end up going back to make simple 3D games like this. Like, they don't have to be massive ukulele productions. They can just be fun little games and people would be happy. I'd be happy. Or maybe I'm just being... Um, greasy. Wanting more and more out of them. And wow, I did that whole race without thinking then. Mm. But, what are your opinions on Rare and Platonic's output? Ukulele 2 is actually really good. I really enjoyed it. I, I wasn't too fond of the first Ukulele, but I think the Impossible Lair was great, I mean... They made the right decision to go back to making a 2D platformer instead of a 3D one, I think. That just helped a lot, and it controlled really well. And it was just really fun, it had great music. Uh, right, we're all done in this area. Let's go to Greenwood Village. Yo, Studio Loading in the stream. How are you doing? How's things since the Kickstarter finished? Are you busy? I'm glad it went well for you. Uh, where are we going? In here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely check out the new ukulele if you haven't already. 
Right, here's where the stream really begins. It's time for the silver coin challenge. Where the stream goes to die. So for those of you watching that don't know what a silver coin challenge is, basically you get three laps and you have to find every single silver coin in the stage and finish in first place as well. And it's definitely a lot harder than it sounds because they're always in really awkward locations. And yeah, you can see how easy it is to just go straight past them. I just went straight past two there. And they're always in really awkward spots. So I like to spend the first attempt uh, just kind of getting my bearings, finding out where they all are, trying to figure out what lap to pick them up on. We've got about half. I'm guessing there's one inside the well here. Oh, there's one right on the left there as well. But, uh, I'm guessing there's one in here somewhere, which is really awkward to get into. Oh wow, there actually isn't one. I thought for sure they would hide one in there. Uh, there's one. I've definitely failed this, but I'm just trying to remember where they are. Right, there must be one on the right somewhere. There it is. And there's one left. Which I think was on the left in the place where the well was down here. Yeah, there it is. And it's kind of out of the way. Right, now we have to try and get back to first place. Which I think is actually impossible. But we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to? Fifth. Not bad. Not terrible for a first test. Uh, Studio Loading says, yeah, testing a lot. Was going to ask. Never played Diddy Kong Racing. I just did some Crash Team Racing on PS1. Oh yeah. Diddy Kong Racing so much better than Crash Team Racing. In my opinion. There's just so much more to it. Not that I don't like Crash Team Racing, in fact I think it's a really good game. But yeah, it doesn't hold a candle to how just expansive and unique Diddy Kong Racing is. It really is unlike any other racing game. Yeah, there's boats, cars, hovercrafts, there's these silver coin challenges, there's boss fights. Uh, I'm going to restart. But it gets so difficult. You never owned an N64. I hope you've rectified that these days. People like to make fun of the N64 as having no good games, but that is definitely not true. N64 is an amazing console. Home to some of my favourite games of all time, honestly. Like this one. And this has still not been re-released on anything. Not properly, anyway. There was a DS version, but that's kind of um, a weird port that's not really that good. Oh my god, I'm doing so badly. But at least I'm not in last. I think there's... Oh no, I got that one. Where are they? There's one on the left down here. There's a one. Yeah, there's one over there. Right in the corner. Okay, we'll get that next time. There's also one over here on the right, if I remember right. Yes, got it. And the last one is over there. Now we have one lap left. Try and get back into first and pick up that last coin. Which is right there. Okay. Now we have to get from third to first. 
We can do it. There's first place right there. Oh no, I missed the turbo. There's another one coming up here. Yes, come on, yes, we did it! Oh, that was so close. It feels so good to be able to finish these silver coin challenges. Ah, yes, we did it. Maybe I'll play Crash Team Racing at some point, because I do like it. It has a really interesting power drift mechanic where you basically slide and then you get a separate bar that goes over the uh, speedometer and you have to you have to tap the drift button just as it goes into the green at the top of the bar before it goes over it and you have to do that three times so you sort of drift in and you sort of click 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 and then you let go and then you do your super power boost which is uh, a really interesting system I think it works really well and there was a great remake on the switch too Which makes me even more sad that Diddy Kong Racing doesn't have a remake. Uh, it does have weapons, they're in the balloons, and the different coloured balloons actually correlate to different weapons. So, see, like the... Uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be looking at the coins. The blue ones are the speed boost, so if you go over a blue one, you can see in the bottom left now that you've got a speed boost. And the really interesting thing about the way the power-ups work in Diddy Kong Racing, if you pick up another one of the same colour, it actually powers it up. So now if I use it, we'll have a faster turbo than before. And if you pick the red one up, you can see there that I've got a missile, and if I pick another red one up, that means that I've actually got a homing missile now. And then, if I... Oh my god, I just seem to be picking all these up without needing to think. There's only two left. Um, and then if I pick another red one up, now I've got ten missiles. Although they're not homing missiles anymore, they're just regular ones. And the uh, the hovercraft's a little bit weird to control. Oh yeah, if you jump here, you can actually trigger that drawbridge to go up. Which I'm guessing is where the uh, final coin is. Or it could be down here, because there's two different paths here as well. And the green ones there, um, as you can see in the bottom, are actually like oil slicks that you can put down on the path. I can't find the last coin anywhere. So I presume it is at the top of that bridge. Which we just opened up. I hope so anyway, I hope I haven't gone past it. Oh, it didn't actually, it didn't actually go up. Damn, I don't know where the last one is. Ah, oh, there it is, there it is! Yes! Wow, no one's even challenging me this time. If you jump at the right time, you can uh, you can go under those logs. Like, you bounce on the water and you can go underneath them, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I love all three really. Diddy Kong, Mario Kart, Crash Bandicoot. This one's definitely my favourite though, if I, if I had to pick between the three. On that generation, anyway. And I guess you could, you could include Sonic R in that too. I do quite like Sonic R, for what it is. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I always wish I had the chance to play a few more multiplayer games that people really uh, talk highly of because I enjoy I enjoy being by myself I enjoy playing single player games more than anything but I do feel like I missed out a little bit because the only multiplayer games I would play really was Mario Party Mario Kart especially Double Dash I played a lot of Double Dash in multiplayer and um, Smash Bros and that was it really Uh, all the coins seem to be really easy to get on this course. I thought there'd be some on the side too. Only one left. And that's back at the start of the track, so hopefully we can pick that up on the third lap. 
try and slow down a bit because I think it's just around this corner. There it is. Right in the middle. So you've got to be careful not to go into the uh, into the waterfall down there. Oh my god, I'm in first. Let's see whether I can hold on to my lead. Whoa, that was close. I almost went into that oil spill. Let's put another one down. Who wants to go into that? The annoying thing is that it's not like Mario Kart. You can't see whether anyone hit into it. Oh yeah, Snowboard Kids is fun. That was another game I played in multiplayer back at uni. I'm whizzing through this. There we go, another balloon. Hi. I can't actually hear you uh, playing that, so hopefully it's come up on the stream. Could you guys hear that, Kirby? Hi. I've changed a few of my streaming settings to do with the audio, so hopefully it still comes through. I'm going to press one as well. I haven't quite got uh, a setup. Anyway, can you hear that? I haven't really got a good setup to be able to hear the stream from this side of the room anyway. If I'm streaming over there on the screen behind me, then it's easy. <clears throat> yeah, I like doing um, ghost races too, with time trials. This game's got a really good time trial mode as well. But I probably won't go into that in this stream. I feel like they're not even trying to hide these coins anymore. This bit reminds me of the tech demo for the Game Boy Advance. Ah, oh, I missed it! There's one over there on the left. Okay, I'll remember that. Sometimes the low resolution makes it kind of difficult to see where they are. I'm missing loads. They must be off the side of the course or something. There's one. Ah, they are hidden. Okay, I apologise for saying that you're not hiding them anymore. Ah. There's one up there. Okay, one left. I feel like there's definitely one in this area somewhere. I'm really struggling to see on this stage, I don't know why. More than any of the other ones. Thought it might be one up there. There it is. No, I missed it anyway. Okay, restart. <clears throat> oh, I missed some chat there. Uh, Lolly1995, I followed your YouTube channel for ages and I love your Game Boy Advance videos. Yay, more Game Boy Advance videos coming soon. I'm planning a Hidden Gems one at some point. Gone Mad Trying, hi man, how's it going? Going well, thank you. Just had a haircut, just came back from the hairdressers. Not that you can see very well with this terrible lighting that I've got going on on this side of the room. Um... <laughs> Auto moderator held a message for reason, sex based term. Gone mad trying. I'm playing this game at the min, stuck on whiz pig, pain in the bum. <laughs> wow, that's some sexual language <laughs> you're using there. Wow. I think that auto moderator may be a little bit overbearing. <laughs> that's so funny. 
Oh my god, what an awful start. Visiting sore thumbs in York. Awesome. I'll be going there in a few weeks' time, actually, because I'm going to a friend's wedding in York. And I cannot go to York and not go to that shop. So expect a pickups video from there soon. I'll try and save something interesting for when you go. Shall I attempt it? No, I ended up doing a trick instead. Oh yeah, talking of Game Boy Advance videos, I've been uh, planning my Game Boy Advance history video, part two. That will actually be out next week. Oh no, actually it'll be out on Friday. I started editing it today. So look forward to that soon. I'm very excited for it. Well, I'm excited for people to see it. I just need to find time to edit. Let's go for the secret one by the waterfall. Yeah, it's a tight turn. Right, one more to find. I can't remember where it is. It's that one that's hidden over there. If you go into that speed boost, you can actually miss that one, which is really annoying. Let's try and... Use another missile. Why did that not hit him? <laughs> he got hit by the uh, windmill anyway. Good. Do that again to whoever's in first. Go around the side! Oh no! Shoot! Oh, straight down to fourth. Damn. Oh, I've lost now. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least I know where they are. Fourth place isn't too bad. <clears throat> you have the Game Boy Advance SP Tribal. I've got it somewhere. I was hoping to show it in the video, but I have no idea where it is since I moved house. I've got four different GBAs over there, including my sister's bright pink one. Because she didn't want it anymore, so she's uh, donated it to the collection. But I'm not showing that one in the video. Let's see whether I can pick them all up on the first lap. Oh! That means getting this one, which is really awkward to get. Hey, not bad. That's probably the best I've done that one so far. Ah, oh, I missed one. Never mind. Right, ignore that speed boost. On the first lap, anyway. How many have I got left? Two. Right, one is in here. And the final one is in the tunnel, which I just couldn't get to earlier. Wow, it's not very often I actually hit someone with just one missile. Ah! Damn it, okay, gonna have to get the speed boost behind the tree. And then... Try and get the coin. Yes, we got them all. No, it's just sweaty palms and try and stay in first place. Or try and get to first place and then stay there. Oh no! That's not fair. And I didn't pick up the speed boost either. 
I like that trick though. If you um, if you manage to aim well, you can actually hit the speed boosts on the floor, which are obviously made for the cars. God, why can't I go fast enough? No, second's not good enough. Ah, so close. Hold on. I know exactly what game you're on about because I had it out. I actually talk about it in my video. I actually talk about it in my video on Friday. It's basically a sequel to this. It controls almost exactly the same as the aeroplane mode in this one. It was supposed to be a lot more similar. It was actually supposed to be in 3D. But um, I don't think they could quite get the engine working. Working the way they wanted it to. There is a prototype out there if you want to try out the actual fully 3D version. And it is very impressive for a Game Boy Advance. Really trying to go all out this lap. Ah, uh, not if that happens. Only one left. I'm not sure where this last one is. Was there one I missed? Must be. Oh, is it the one over there? Of uh, I don't think there's any way to get that without using the speed boost. Or with using the speed boost, should I say. Maybe I should try and get some blue balloons in order to get a little bit of a speed boost at the end. Otherwise I think I may as well restart now. I'm not doing too good. They really upped the difficulty at this point of the game. Oh, that's so annoying. I have to intentionally avoid that. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, come on. No, oh, second. So close. So close. This game was meant to be like five other games. Yes. Someone actually told me some really interesting stuff that unfortunately I'm not allowed to share yet because it's not public knowledge. But I think publicly there's at least three different versions of this game that are actually known but yeah I was I was so excited to find out some very juicy details about this game and some like characters that they planned to have in it and and they didn't end up including but I'm not really allowed to say so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there in case I accidentally spoil anything that I'm not meant to but hopefully one day I'll be allowed to talk about it Ah, oh, okay, restart. I 
didn't get any power-ups. And that's the first time I've missed that one. Corner so difficult. How am I still in first? What happened? Right, I'm gonna go for it. The most annoying. Ah, oh, really? Lost my power up right at the end. Whoa. Okay, I'll follow you then. There we go, now I just need to stay in first. I think I've done it. Maybe I should try and get the shield. Just in case anyone decides to fire something at me. Oh, speed boost will be okay. Wow, I'm doing really well. I don't want to jinx it though, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I have to be careful not to tap R too many times as well, because you can accidentally end up doing a trick instead on the planes. Which is really annoying, if you're really trying to be careful, because when you press R you actually do a slightly sharper turn, so it is something that you need to do for these sharper corners like that. But at the same time, if you're not careful, it can backfire and you'll end up doing a barrel roll instead and it slows you right down. But yay, we made it! I'll do one across the finish line. There you go. You can also do backflips. Yeah, I'm doing that. Basically, you have to let go of the accelerator just as you hit one of the speed ramps. Speed boosters. And you can tell whether it worked or not because you get the um, the rainbow effect coming off the end of the boost. Now, this is where this stream goes to die. We're back onto a boss fight. And uh, this one's a really difficult boss fight anyway. This one's against this dragon that uh, throws fire behind him. But at the same time, this is one of my favourite things. About... Um... Hey, I've got some new uh, followers. Uh, Magmo Militer, thank you. And high ranking P as well, thank you. Yeah, and the second time you fight these bosses, they're actually more challenging. So before he only he only threw out two lots of fire, but this time he throws out four. So, as you can probably tell, this might take a few attempts. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to restart already. Yeah, bo boost turns green, and then it turns rainbow colored at the end. Oh, damn it. I expect to see this a lot, by the way. At the end of the last stream, when I was facing the uh, stupid octopus boss, I ended up restarting so many times. Let's see whether I can do it a little bit better today, at least. Let's try and aim for some red... Oh, damn it. I expect to hear that a lot as well. You have to be really patient playing this game sometimes. And I'm trying to play it by uh, holding down R the entire time as well because that means that you can turn sharper. So hopefully it means I've got a little bit more of a chance of uh, dodging some of his attacks. I think the best thing to do is try and get two red balloons in order to use the homing attack. and then try and get a, a blue one. And the good thing is, you don't need to be able to see him to do the homing attack. Right, I'm saving this one up for another blue one, because I feel like it might be... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. 
That probably just made up for crashing into the wall. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as facing the octopus last time because that literally took half an hour just on that one fight. Ah. I've messed up three times. I don't know whether it's worth trying to get the the blue balloon there or whether it's uh, better just to stay closer to the inside corner. I wasn't far behind. I wasn't far. That was alright for a first try. <laughs> try again whenever you're ready. I'm gonna try again right now. It's annoying that you can't just try again, you have to go back out into the hub world and drive back through the door again. But if you finish the race just before the end, then you can actually just go straight back in. Which makes it a lot easier. Oh, that's not fair. Why does he get to cheat at the start? Okay, restart, restart. <laughs> oh man. If I know I've messed up on the first one, I'll just instantly try again. So, two red balloons. Right, restart. If I can't get through that initial section, I'm just going to keep retrying. Got a better boost. That's a good start. Uh, okay. I can do it. I can do it. Focus mode. Activate. One mistake, but I don't think it matters that much this early on. Uh, okay, two mistakes and it does. We might be here a while. Hopefully you're all doing something else at the same time as watching this, else this will just be painful. No. Ah, that's what happens if you mash the R button too much. You end up doing that spin instead. What happened there? I just went straight into the roof. Maybe the best thing to do there is just to try and get the two blue ones. Scared, he's very close. Oh my god, I got ahead. Ah, I missed the balloon though, but I'm still ahead. Just about. Okay, just gonna focus on the blue ones now. Now that I'm in front. It feels so much nicer when you don't have him in front of you. I can actually take these corners nicely. Oh my god, I can get all three of them. Oh no! Oh man, I messed that up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, I still did it! Yes! 
That was that was so scary. I really thought I was done for when I crashed into that tree. Ah, uh, there we go. We're done. That's all four of them. Ah, uh, that was scary. My thumb hurts. That was intense. There we go, the amulet is complete. I'm worthy of facing Whizpig. Am I though? I remember Whizpig was an absolute nightmare to try and beat. We'll see. Let's go and do the trophy race first. I'm really scared of facing Whizpig. Let's do this first. This is like a little breather before the main event. Get ready! Oh my god, the frame rate in this stage is so bad. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, you can't retry. Okay. Let's just stick it out. It's early days. Wow, that was a good shortcut. It took me straight into first. Whee! Let's try and hold on to this homing missile just in case I need it. Let's see. Ah, oh, I lost it. Never mind. Let's keep using speed boosts instead. Oh yeah, anyone watching, do you know what the bananas actually do? I presume they increase your maximum speed, but I've never really been able to tell whether it makes a difference or not. If it does, it's very much uh, not obvious anyway. Maybe it's more obvious on the NTSC version, but on the uh, PAL version, with its awful frame rate anyway, I've never noticed it didn't make any difference. I'll try and pick up as many as I can anyway, but I don't really know why. I just collect them because they're there. Oh yeah, the bananas were actually one of the only things that were changed when Diddy Kong was put into this game as... Um, no! Oh, I hate those. If you get stuck there. Damn it. Alright, maybe we can still do this if we manage to come first in the other ones. Because, like Mario Kart, it takes your um, average laps. I crashed then and he ended up hitting me back into the right direction. Oh, how did that not work? That's supposed to be a homing missile.
Oh uh, no! Ah, oh, right at the end. I messed up right at the end. Ah, <sighs> close. Sorry I was so quiet then. I was really concentrating that race. Where am I overall now? Second. I've only got Banjo to beat in two more races. Mm, yeah, I never bother taking the well. It's more trouble than it's worth, really, because it's so easy to hit the sides. Oh my god, everyone just pushed me out of the way. Rude. Oh, I really thought I'd got him then. Did I get him? I couldn't tell the smoke filled the screen. It doesn't really matter whether Crunch is ahead of me or not, I only have to worry about whether it's Banjo. <clears throat> you stole my balloon! Use that to get ahead. Two rainbow boosts, one after the other. All right, I should probably swap that for a green one or a blue one. There's a blue one there. I probably shouldn't be so hasty in using them either. I love doing the nose dive into the floor there. Where is everyone? I'm weirdly far ahead for this late into the game. Oh, hey, there we go, a nice easy race. Whee! And a little trick at the end. <clears throat> you have to thank me for the Umihara Kawase retrospective. You've got a friend in Tokyo and they were kind enough to hunt down some games. Got the second edition on the PS1. I'm even more excited that they found the N64 sport fishing game by the Mother Earthbound creator. Oh, awesome. Um, Etoy, someone, I think his name was. He also did a really interesting game for the Super Famicom that you should ask your friend to try and track down for you as well. Um, treasure something. Let me see whether I can find out what it's called. Um... I don't know how I'll find out what it's called. Treasure something. Uh, don't know. If I remember later, I'll put it on Twitch. Yeah, that game that kind of looks like uh, Zelda. It's like a multiplayer treasure hunting game, as far as I know. But it might be worth trying to track down. I know it's kind of hard to find. But yeah, enjoy Umihara Kawase when you get around to playing that. I love that series so much. I wish it was on the Switch. I think it is if you get the uh, Japanese SNES online. You can play the SNES one on there. But, um, if you want to track down one version that's like the ultimate version, try and find the one for the original DS. Because that contains the SNES game and the PS1 game. And it plays really well on there too. Oh, 
I would love to do more retrospectives like that. That's something I'm hoping to do later this year. I've got a few more interesting series that I think would uh, do well for a good video like that. And also would be uh, a good excuse for me to collect some rare games too. Not that I need a good excuse to collect rare games. But the other thing is, for games like that... Oh, I just beat Banjo there. Let's see how we fared at the end. I think I'm going to beat him by one point. Yeah, we did it. That was actually really difficult. Yes, marvellous another Treasure Island. That's it. Pretty sure he was the director on it anyway. Or maybe it had something to do with Zelda, I can't remember. Yay, we did it, that's the last one of them. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> oh yeah, there was a really weird game that Etoy... Um, was directing that it got cancelled as well, apparently. It was called Cabbage. And... Oh yeah, let's go and speak to TT, see what he has to say. Apparently it was like one of them weird games that the Nintendo worked on for years and years and years. And they never really turned it into anything. Hmm. Right, we've got to find the key in this world. Like last time, I'll try and find it on my own, but if not, um, if not, then uh, we can resort to our good friend, Mr. Google. But let's have a good look around the stage, trying to find the key first. Uh, obviously, it won't be anywhere on the main path, so let's do a bit of exploring. Are you okay, Banjo? You're making some pretty weird noises there. I have a feeling it's like... in the top of one of the windmills or something weird like that. If anyone's just joined, they probably think I'm really terrible at this game. I'm not terrible, I'm looking for a key. No? I really thought it'd be behind that windmill. That's surprising. Games love to hide things behind windmills. Hey, I got another new follower, and you distracted me and made me drive into a wall. Uh, Mbolt T19. Thank you. This key is a pain to find. Oh, okay. Don't tell me, I want to try and find it on my own first. Once I've scoured all the areas, then I'll, I'll ask you for help. Right. I am beginning to have a feeling it's not in this stage. Let's check the back of the windmills. No. Let's check in the back of that one. This is probably painful for you to watch, because you know exactly where it is. Mm. I'll do one more lap, but I'm pretty sure it's not in this stage at this point. Let's check the back of the windmill. No. Let's check on the top of the bridge. Nope, nothing there. Okay, I am pretty certain that it's not in this stage then. I'm really annoyed I didn't find that one in Crescent Island. It should have been kind of obvious. Hmm, it's not inside any of these, is it? I don't think you can go inside then. No. 
They look like the um, the weird pile of hay that sings to you in Conker's Bad Fur Day. Hmm. Nothing behind there? Nope. Okay. Right, I'm saying it's not part of this one. <clears throat> I don't really know much about his history with Nintendo. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's try the hovercraft. There's a little bit more wiggle room with the hovercraft in terms of exploring. I always regret having never really got into um, Earthbound, considering how important it is. But obviously it never came out in the UK, so I never really had a chance to play it. Until it came out on the Wii U. And I did play it, and I enjoyed it for what it was, but I didn't really see the magic in it that a lot of people seem to find. I don't know whether that was just me having too high expectations of it. I don't know. Anyone else watching, have you uh, struggled to enjoy Earthbound? Or is it just me? It's not that I didn't enjoy it. I did I did like it, but I didn't think it was like the most amazing game on the SNES. Or I didn't really understand why it was held in such high regard. But maybe, maybe I just wasn't concentrating on it enough. I don't know. I need to try it again at some point, maybe with a more open mind. I just remember it being kind of slow paced and kind of confusing. I don't think it's on this stage either. I thought it might be somewhere in one of these houses in this little village place, but it doesn't seem like you can actually go up into any of the houses. You can't get past that wall there. So I don't think the key is here anywhere. My powers of deduction tell me the key is not here. Let's check inside the well just in case, but I don't think it's in there. Anything at the back? No secret walls or anything? No. Well, we'll finish this lap, but then I might end up writing this level off and then moving on to the next one anyway. Uh, Mother 3 is the one that really impressed you. You uh, intrinsically dislike JRPGs of that style. Huh. I've not really tried Mother 3. I do actually own the translation patch on the cartridge, so I do plan on playing it at some point, but I've not really found the time yet, and I want to try and play the other two first before I tackle Mother 3, because I've heard it's, uh, although it's very separate, it's got quite a deep story, and I kind of want to experience the other two games first. But is it worth playing Earthbound Beginnings, Mother 1, or should I just jump straight into the SNES game? Earthbound's a strange one because I didn't know much about it till after the buzz, and it's fun, but I found it slow going enough to force yourself to play it. And you still didn't beat it. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it as well. I got about halfway through in the end. And then stop playing for whatever reason. But I'll go back to it at some point. In my own time. Right, I'm not seeing anywhere where a key could be hiding just yet. Could be around here somewhere. I've not explored this area. I bet it's something to do with the drawbridge. <clears throat> Although there is a bit at the top. And there's also bits up here. Oh my god, I can't get out. Let's try and raise this drawbridge. I'm sure there's something to do with this bell here. Ah, there we go. Is it up there? Let's try and get some speed up. 
Oh, it's gone back down. Ah, and everyone's coming the other way. There it is! There it is! How do I get up there? Yay, I found it! Uh, right, let's try getting some blue balloons then. I think that's the key. That's the key to getting the key. What a cool place to hide it. Okay, ready? Oh, I missed! Well, we have maximum blue balloons anyway. Yeah, you don't get anything for hitting it four times in a row. Alright, let's try again. You have to jump at just the right time. This is going to mess up all the NPCs. Yeah, there we go. We got it. And I didn't have to resort to Google. Oh, I missed the last um, banana. Never mind. That was a cool place to hide it. Like You have to use your brain a bit there. That bell's weird. It's like the only point in any of these levels where something's actually interactive like that. As far as I'm aware, anyway. I guess maybe you could say the whale in um, Crescent Bay, is it? It's kind of like that, but not really. Although I don't remember whether there's anything like that in the space levels, which we'll be getting to in a minute. Right, is there any chance of me finishing higher than last place? I think I'm like two laps behind everyone now. I'm glad you don't have to get the key and finish in first like you do with the silver coins. Just enjoy the music while I do this final lap. I don't really know whether you need to do the laps after you've picked the key up, or whether you can just exit the level, but whatever. I don't mind. I'm just so glad I found the time to stream again, because I've honestly been looking forward to playing this for like two weeks now, since the last stream. Oh, you can just back out, cool. That was a really brilliant key hiding spot. Yeah, I like that. Very clever. Yay, there we go, now we have to do one more of those uh, multiplayer things. I'm actually just going to pop to the toilet, because I've just finished drinking all this, and now I need a wee, so... I'll put the uh, stream on starting soon, and I'll be back in a minute. So, don't go anywhere. Put me in a different tab. I'll be back in a bit.
Now I'm back. There we go. I forgot to put the microphone back on. Is everyone still here? Someone left. Uh, felt the same way about Red Dead 1. I can't remember what I was saying there. What's the context behind that? Uh, right, what are we doing now? Doing whatever the multiplayer thing is in this door here. First player to get 10 bananas into their treasure chest will win. Okay, that's a cool new new style I haven't seen yet. So we have to... Uh, where's our treasure chest? Oh. Where do they go? This might take a few attempts. I don't even know where my where my chest is. That's not mine, that's Banjo's. There's mine on the other side. There's mine. Well, there's two. Where's all the bananas at? Are they all just around here? Wow, somehow I managed to dodge that one. I think I'm missing some of these bananas though, even though it seems like I'm driving into them. Oh, can you only hold two at once? Is that is that what's going on? Ah, okay, now I understand. I'm glad these slopes are colour coded as well, now I know which one to go to. So you're allowed to pick up two bananas and then you have to go up here and deposit them in your box. Got it. I'm a slow learner, okay? Uh, and I presume if you get hit, you drop your bananas. Why, what's everyone else been doing if I only just figured this out? Banjo must be even more dumb than I am. I just thought the collision detection was off. I wonder if there's any penalty for falling into the water. Hopefully we won't find out. I'm surprised that I'm in the lead now. After how badly that start went. Let's see if there's any on this side. There's one. And there's another one! Uh, U-turn! Kind of. Is that my ramp? Yes. Is that it? Are we done? Yay! Wow, that was really easy. And now to never think of that level again. Close my blinds so the neighbours can't see me playing Diddy Kong racing because they just get jealous. You won first prize. I won first prize. Yeah, the egg flying one's really challenging. Or I just didn't understand that the eggs hatching was what you needed to do. Yay, the amulet's complete. Da -da 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 -da. Use this to enter the TT door. Where's the TT door? I think I've got everything now. Let's go and speak to him. Yeah, look at that. We've got everything. Now, what is the TT door?
Where's pigs alive? It's just like Gruntilda's lair. I wonder if Taj has anything to say about that. Probably not. Did he even notice? Hello, friend. No. Bye -bye for now. I don't know why you would choose anything other than the aeroplane, really. Is there something on top? No, you can't go on top. Okay, well, at least let me inside. Okay, I can't even go inside. Uh. Oh, yeah. Let's get the car. You can unlock one of the secret characters now. Now that I've got everything. Hello, friend. Select your Can I? <laughs> okay, I'll try not to beat him too easy, but I can't promise anything. See this frog with a hat on? There you go, if you run him over, now you get to play his drumstick. What a weird way of hiding a secret character. I love it. Although I'm playing the entire game as Timber because, um, Hello, basically because Kev Bayliss wanted uh, Timber to be the main character. So in this run, he is the main character for us. Wow. Finding drumstick like that just feels like one of them weird rumours that you would hear in the playground, doesn't it? It's like, hey, if you squash a very particular frog, then you unlock a secret character. You can't beat me. Are you sure about that? I'm going to beat him on my first try. Just watch. <clears throat> I have beaten him several times over the years. So it's not impossible. And even on the DS version as well, I beat him a few times on there too. Oh my god, I'm scared though. I remember him squashing you if you get too close. Oh wow, okay, restart already. That was a terrible, terrible start. Oh god, it's terrifying. Oh my god, yes, I remember that as well. Let's not restart straight away. Let's, uh, let's try and play it fair. This music reminds me a lot of Donkey Kong Country. Oh my god, do not go in the water. I'm pretty much guaranteed to lose if you even put one wheel in the water. Oh my god. I have no excuse for going into the bridge there. Pretty nerve wracking hearing this music and knowing just how difficult the race is. Like, see, if you miss just one, you end up going into the water and it slows you down so much. You need to hit every single one of these speed boosts. And don't hit the tree. Okay, let's try again. Um. The thing I forgot and noticed when replaying my N64 games is how fast cart loads are. Yeah, it's crazy. Even just the speed of turning the system on to actually getting into the game. It's just so fast. It's really nice, it's really refreshing to, to be able to play things like that. Oh, I just realised maybe my microphone's a bit too loud. Let me turn it down a little bit like that. Is that better? I had it a bit louder than normal because um, I was recording at the table and it's a bit further away from my mouth. Let me know whether that sounds better because I could see it was going a little bit red. Hopefully I haven't been shouting at you the whole time. Get ready! Okay, I don't need to worry about uh, being squashed at that point. No, 
around this one. Oh my god. The penalty you get for missing one speed boost is insane. There's no items either, so you have no choice but to be just perfect. Maybe you can afford to miss that one. Maybe. Alright, I'm going to lean forward. This is a serious time. Hard left there. Yeah, it's insane how fast he is, but I guess he is quite tall. Hard left. Oh, that's close. Oh, I'm not letting go soon enough. Look at him just making a mockery of them. Um, Hells. I'm also worried about drifting in case I oversteer and I'm having to correct myself. Oh no. The rain is really making the frame rate drop as well. Start. What has Whizpig had for breakfast? Let us know in the chat. Forget to go hard left there. Well, yeah, at least it's fast to retry. Go further to the left. Wow, I actually went in front of him for a second. And he just stomped on me. Maybe it's best not to get the blue boost. Or move to the side a bit like that. Ah. Oh my god, I'm gonna be here a while.
Oh my god, you really have to turn really sharp there to get back onto the platform. Or else you just end up going into the water every time. Ah. Sharp left. Oh, even sharper than that. Ah. <laughs> This is going to be torture. Did you actually manage to do it, Gone Mad Train, or are you still, are you still stuck here? Oh, I couldn't see the bridge. that you're up to. Pegs the Prez, first time chat. Hello! You're a fellow fan of Diddy Kong Racing then. Give me some tips on Whizpig! I'm struggling so much! Oh my god, I even tried to go hard left then. A tapping. I know about letting go of A to go over the speed boost, but I don't know about tapping it. God, how hard do you have to take that corner? Take it, it was a bit sloppy, but I hit it. Maybe I don't need to worry so much about letting go of A, I just need to worry about actually hitting more. Okay, that's the best lap so far. I'm already getting nervous. God, really? He's still that far away? <sighs> Tap the button four to seven times a second. Like that. Am I doing it too fast? I don't think it's making any difference, or I'm doing it wrong. Let's see how fast it is normally. So it's usually around 60. I'm 
tap in A. It seems to be slower more than anything. Am I doing it wrong? Get to around 60 and then start. I think that's easier said than done than this, I think. Okay. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do I need to type faster? Tap in, you can get about 70. 90 if you have max bananas. I don't think there are any bananas to find on this level, are there? Well, either way, I'm determined to try and beat him. Maybe I should go and practice the A tapping thing somewhere else. As, as a kid, I managed to do it without tapping A all the time, though, so... Unless I've become really bad at gaming in my old age, I should still be able to beat him. If I don't keep banging into his feet right at the start. Are there any tips to the course or any uh, best routes I should try and take? Apart from hit all the speed boosts and try not to fall in the water. Ugh. I'm going to be here a while. I presume if you miss one, there's no chance of catching him up. It's difficult even as a speedrun. I might end up watching a speedrun and see how the pros do it. <clears throat> Doing two green ones back to back. Uh, okay, I'm done. I slightly missed that. I messed everything up. Maybe playing as a different character is easier? I really wanted to play this as Timber though, so I'm sure it's possible. Just 
just got to not make any mistakes, I guess. I'm getting better. Touch the grass. No good. Oh my god, I almost touched him. The music's off to reduce lag. How do you turn the music off? I'm feeling more confident now anyway after that one. Ah, it's all about timing to get the green boosts on there. Feels like cheating turning the music off. No. Ah, went too far. Yeah, plus I don't want to turn the music off because it's amazing. How could you silence David Wise? The best composer in video games, possibly. Definitely top five. Oh my god, I didn't think I'd got that then. Uh, don't land on me! Oh my god, I'm ahead of him! For a second. Oh god, that's scary! Oh my god, that's actually terrifying. I do not want to be anywhere near this guy. Oh my god, how am I doing this? Shoot, I hit the grass. close. Uh, I was so close then. I was so close. I can do it. I can do it. A few little slip ups at the end. Come on, cheer me on guys. Oh, I took that too soon. I was too, I was too confident. I've let it get to my head. Too soon, too soon. I'm so scared of that corner. That's where I always mess up. I don't think I need to use a brake turn on that corner.
perfectly lined up, but no green. Yes, that's good. That's bad. Oh, I've lost too much speed there in the water. Two greens in a row, that was good. Make it three. And a nice sharp corner there. I was too worried about missing that then. It might be okay. Maybe not. I don't think I've missed my chance. Ah, uh, almost. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Technically, if you learn how to do that A press thing, and if you're letting go of A when you're going over the speed boost. Oh, really? If you don't do it, it kicks you out right back to here. Um, can you actually go and do the other levels now? Because I've done everything here. Does that open? Or does that open after you've fought him? Okay, it opens after. I couldn't remember whether it opened before or not. Alright, I guess that's all we can do. Let's go and try again. Yeah, I've got drumstick. And I was tempted to switch around to play as him, but I thought, I want to do this as Timber. I've never finished it as Timber before, so we'll keep trying. Too late. Timber can do it. I can do it for Timber. He deserves his own game. He was meant to be the lead star in Dinosaur Planet before it became Saber. Before it became Star Fox. So he, would, he was ousted twice in that game. Oh yeah, that's something else I would like to try and stream it. Some point in the future is the um, leaked beta version of Dinosaur Planet. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I can't talk. Yeah, he was supposed to be the star of this game. That's why I, w that's why I chose to play as him in the first place. Poor Kev Bayless never, never got the chance to let Timber have the spotlight. Back when this was Pro-Am 64. Cartoon, cartoon adventure world or something originally. I'm losing focus. I need to focus. Ah, oh, why did I jump off them? Damn it. 
What am I doing wrong? I was so close. <laughs> ah. Torture. I've lost it. I was doing well then. I want to turn whiz pig into bacon in this way. Ah! I was sure I did everything perfectly then. Did I miss like two green boosts? Oh my god, my heart's beating. Oh, what could I have done better then? That was so close. But I didn't even manage to get ahead of him like I did the last time I did well. Oh well, back to the grind.
How am I not doing it? Alright, thanks for dropping by anyway. Hopefully I'll see you again on another stream. And hopefully next time I'll actually have beaten the Whizpig. Have a good day. I don't really know how I can do much better than this, honestly. Passed him for a second. God damn it. God damn it. How close is that? This is insane. Did they not test this? This is impossible. How did people not say this was too difficult? That was literally almost a completely perfect one. I'm going to feel so good once I've managed to do it, though. God, I'm in first. For a second. I don't know what I did to get further ahead then. Oh my god, oh my god. No! Uh. Oh my god, I was so close. Okay. This time. This time I've got it. This time I've got it. Come on.
Whoa, I don't know what was going on there. Okay, not this time, not this time. This time! This is the one. Here we go. I wonder whether turning actually slows you down slightly. Maybe it's better to try and stay in a straight line as much as possible. Maybe? Oh god, that corner's always terrifying. What is going on? Is he going easy on me? I think I was doing that well, but oh my god, his shadows are there! <gasps> he jumped over me. No. Is he being kind? I think he's being kind then. Ah. No, really, I thought whether I could cheat through the trees then. That was so close. Mm. Okay. Gone Mad Trying. That is my name now as well. I'm going mad. I'm trying to beat Whizpig. I can see why you stopped there. <sighs> Alright, here we go again. <laughs> Why does it make you go too far sometimes when you land awkwardly? I really thought I had it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what happened on that first lap last time. Let's see whether I can replicate it. I feel like the AI knows that I've been struggling so much. Oh my god, I'm bouncing around all over the place. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it! <laughs> I'm getting so close. I was ahead of him again. Just gotta do that on lap three. I can afford to miss it once, right? Oh, okay, I can't afford to do that. Ah, 
I wasn't paying attention. Though. Okay, maybe I can uh, post like a three hour video of me struggling to beat Whizpig. I'll have to stop soon as well, so I really hope I can do it tonight. I've got work tomorrow and I have to get up early because builders are coming around to the house. Annoyingly. Alright, it's got to be done. That boost pad is so hard to get to. I hate that one. Ah, damn it, turned too soon. Oh, I've only got about half an hour left. I'm not going to be able to do it, I don't think. front as well then.
perfect lap. I don't understand how sometimes I'm actually getting ahead of him though, even though I did that perfectly. Shoot! Oh, that's messed everything up. I'll keep trying, but I don't think there's any way of catching them up now. That's it, run over. That was close. This is ridiculous. I didn't think it would take this long. What the hell were they thinking? I want to see how other people tackle this now. I want to watch a Let's Play or something. This is insane. This is literally impossible. Seriously, anyone watching right now, have you ever been able to beat Whizpig? And how? I'm getting seriously frustrated. I had two perfect laps last time. I don't know why I keep missing that one now. Oh, I'm not in the right headspace for this. Oh my god. Right, 100% concentration now. I'm even pulling the table over to lean on. Oh my god, what happened there? <sighs> I don't think I breathed the entire time that was happening. Oh my god, that was so close. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. All right. I'm going to lean forward again. See you in about two minutes. I don't know why sometimes you fly off the start of the jump like that. Oh my god! I did it and I made it look easy! <laughs> oh my god, my palms are sweaty, my heart's beating a million miles an hour, but I did it. Yes! That was insanely difficult. Wow, thank you everyone who stuck with me through that hour-long <laughs> attempt at a boss fight. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. Yes! There's more though. There's space levels. Let's party! I deserve a party after that. Wow. I think there's space levels, unless that's just on the DS version. Woo! Party time! Na 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 Look at them all having a great party which just means running across the beach. Don't you come back ever. He's going to ruin the party. Uh-oh. Sorry to break the party, worms, but I had to say goodbye. I don't know why random words are in capitals. Look at Innocent Conquer there. If this was after Bad Fur Day, he would have been lying on the beach, drunk, surrounded by cans. 
What the hell? What does he have against these animals? He doesn't. He also doesn't seem to be doing much. Where is he? There he goes, off into space. For some reason. Does this story make any sense? Oh, enjoy this music. This music's awesome. We did it, guys. We did it. Well, kind of. I'll save the space levels for the next stream. Kev Bayliss. Well done. Excellent art direction. Let's see who, who else I recognise. D Wise. What a legend. Oh, I love this music so much. Oh, I missed I missed Kev's name. I was gonna take a picture. Oh yeah, apparently the kids on the intro that laugh, they're actually um, Tim Stamper's kids, I believe. Which is pretty cool. If I was a QA on this game, I would have told them to make the final boss less challenging. Because that was just insane. Mario Club. I always like seeing Mario Club in the credits. I think that's like Nintendo Japan's quality assurance division, I think. Or just like a group of people who test Nintendo games. It's weird actually recognising all these names now. When I was a kid I would have had no clue who any of these people were. I wonder why Tim was an executive producer and Chris was only a regular producer. The end. All balloons are rainbow. Opposites attract. Oh, these are the... Um, the... What do you call them? Cheat codes. Alright, we'll end it there for tonight. Thank you so much, everyone who stuck with me through that insane whiz pig fight. I did have a lot of fun, despite all the complaining. And join me again for the next stream where we play through all the space levels and then take on Wig Whizpig once again. So thank you all and I'll see you all again soon. Maybe next Tuesday, maybe before then, but I do have a video to work on in the meantime. So thank you. Thank you so much for following me on Twitch and for watching this stream. And I'll see you all again very soon. Now I've got to spin around and end it. Goodbye. <laughs>